So I was watching the Stiggs video the other day where he was showing his uh, Commodore 64 collection and it inspired me to show my Atari 8-bit collection. So this is my Atari 800XL. Um, I originally got one of these back in 1985, my parents bought it for me. Um, I think I was about 9 years old at the time. Um, and I absolutely loved it, I've got a lot of great memories of playing games on this system. Um, I love the games for it. And it was, um, it was a really great system for its time, it was very powerful. It was about as powerful as the Commodore 64. Um, for some reason it didn't sell that well, I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe Atari didn't advertise enough, um, maybe they priced it too high, I don't know. I remember back then it cost uh, £200 for the, for the computer and for the, uh, for the cassette recorder. And the, uh, the disk drive, which uh, sold separately, um, that cost £200. Um, let's take a closer look at it anyway. It's obviously 8-bit, um, and I think it came out in around 1983. So uh, I think some of the keys are unique to this system. You've got like a control key there, clear, set tab key. Um, I think this is called an inverse key. But the keyboard feels um, feels quite nice, I suppose. Uh, you've got some silver keys going down the side here. Uh, they look like brushed aluminium. You've got reset option, select, start, help, and the power light. Um, start select an option they usually be used on uh, on games. You've got the badge there. There's no feature sign for some reason. Uh, cartridge slot. So uh, games did some games did come out on cartridge. Uh, others came out on cassette and disc. I think it's a really nice looking system. It's um, it's actually my most favourite looking uh, retro system. Um, so you've got two controller parts here, and you'd use the same joysticks as what you'd use on the Atari 2600 or the Commodore 64 or the ZX Spectrum or whatever. Um, on the other side there's nothing there. At the back, you've got um, this is where you, can, where you connect a tape drive, or a disk drive, or a printer, or whatever. Um, and the way you get several hooked up to your computer at once will be to, uh, to daisy chain them together. Um, this is your parallel bus. I think you could connect extra memory to this. Um, I'm not sure if there was anything else that you could connect to it, but if anyone knows, just let me know. Just, uh, just write a comment or something. This is your monitor output, TV output. There's no um, RF channel selector switch, I think that's what they're called, which is what you have over in the States. Um, power input and the on off switch. And there's the underneath. There's a lot of, uh, lot of ventilation. I'm not sure why, because it doesn't really get hot. It's the, uh, the power brick which gets really hot. But yeah, I'll show you the uh, the tape drives that I have for it. So this is the Atari 1010. Um, still looks like it's in brand new condition. Um, everything works on it perfectly, apart from the uh, the most important thing, which is uh, loading games. Um, whenever I try to load a game on it, it always fails, so I'm not sure what's wrong with it. But um, as you can see, it's been made to match the uh, the XL systems. Although it will work on the other Atari 8-bit computers, like the 800 and the XL systems. I have the uh, the manual for it, so I'll give you a quick look through this. Now you could also use this to uh, if you typed in a program. You could use this to save it onto a blank cassette, and then you could uh, reload it whenever you wanted.
so I'll uh, open it up. So again it's got that like uh, brushed aluminium effect. Feels like it's a really good quality product as well. And there's a uh, tape counter. On the front you've got a, uh, a power light. And on the back uh, you've got these two connections and this is what I mean about daisy chaining things together. Uh, you could use this connection for example to, uh, to connect it to the computer and then you could use this connection to connect it to a disk drive or a printer or whatever and then that way you could get several things hooked up to the computer at the same time even though the computer only has one of these on the back that's your power input so it does uh, take power from the mains so this is what I do use, this is what does work um, it's the XE12 and this uh, this came out with the XE machines, so you can see it's been made to uh, to suit the XEs. Um, quality doesn't quite feel as good as the 1010, but it still feels good enough. You can see it's got the addition of a uh, of a save light, so when you're saving um, a program or whatever, it lights up when you're recording. Again, a tape counter. And um, this doesn't actually have, uh, it doesn't actually, you don't actually plug this into the mains. Um, it just takes the power from the computer itself. So there's a lead that you plug into the computer. And it's actually uh, it's actually built. The other end is actually built into the uh, into the cassette recorder. And uh, this is a box for it. Uh, 